all right all right if you're a civil engineer and you're watching this come closer this video is for you we are going to be going through a deep training on road design using civil 3d you agree with me that civil 3d is one of the most uh, recommended and the most widely used road design software or infrastructure design software so i'll be taking you through that process on this particular course on youtube for free right but then we have a very great course that is available and we are also going to be having our training official training course which is going to be coming on the 3rd of november the link for registration will be available very very soon so you can register with us secure your seats today and thank me later all right we'll be using google earth to generate our survey data so let's jump right into it but then my name is abel gray kantoma i'm from greatest design consult this is my whatsapp contact you can reach me on this number or call me on any of these numbers okay all right so let's look at google ads google ads so you need to get google ads is a free um, software that you can take advantage of just download it go to your browser and download google ads so we'll be using google ads to generate our survey data so let's look for i'm just going to so let me look for a location in kaduna um Mind you, your system has to be connected to the internet in order for you to use the Google app, okay? Perfect. So, this is Amadou Bello Stadium. So, um, I would like us to... I think design this road right so one of the very very important thing that you must do on road design is to do a good recognition survey this is an existing road so we are just going to be designing this particular road although because this is a training and this is going to be our first class so it's important that we make it a bit simple um this road has a median separator here as you can see um this is a two lane carriageway and then we have this here we have this here perfect two lane carriageway here another two here so um that is that so uh quickly in order for us not to waste much of our time um, before we generate the our survey data I would just like to demonstrate something very very important that I feel um, we need to establish based on um, based on recognition survey like I said earlier so um, part of what we need to do is to uh, let me use my part. I'm just going to use a part to, although I'm not going to really, really use this. So let me just call this T1. Um, I'm just going to draw some parts here. So Bubble Earth is. A very very simple software that you should use is not very difficult to learn um, so let's just pick this point and let's see what we have right so if you can make it as straight as possible is better it can be straight is better mm. 
Oh, I'm still very far from that. Right, it's all good. So um, this is usually very, very good for presentation drawing. If you want to do a presentation drawing, um, you can generate your survey data for presentation, but I, it's not very advisable to um, use the data you get from this for a real life project. You only do that for... So let us pick our point. So one very key important thing you need to know, although we've not gotten to that point, I will explain as we progress. Um, let's just pick our points. Okay, I would like to stop here um, and then view the cross section of this. So let's just have, let me see how this cross section is going to look like. Um, I will right click on it and I will come to show elevation profile right so this will show me the elevation of this road from the beginning you can see as i hover my mouse along the path you can see there is a an arrow at the top there showing me how many kilometers this road is entirely so this is 1.9 uh one kilometer so which is almost about two kilometers right now if that is correct one very important thing we need to also know is the um the maximum and then the minimum slope you can see here we have 7.0 percent um then we have minus 3.7 percent so this will tell you your highest point and then this will tell you your lowest point you can see this is at this point here we have about five nine seven if you come down here you have five eight zero which is about seven meters difference here here we have five nine this is about uh, six meters difference so um at this point this is should be our lowest point so um but basically what we are saying here is we have um you can see it tells us the distance of 1.91 kilometer which is the entire length of this particular road uh, we have our average slope of 1.8 percent and then we have minus 1.8 one percent this is a very very important um, information now you agree with me that we have classification of topography so now this is the topography of this particular road right now based on the class at which this particular road falls in it falls in the so if you look at this this falls within the class of a flat terrain and i will explain why so if you look at this based on what we have here we have um, our percentage of slope you can see we just have that grade of um, seven percent and then minus three point seven percent um so this actually falls within the flat terrain um, topography based on classification of um, um topography now let me explain for the flat terrain is usually from zero to ten percent for rolling terrain is usually from 10 to 25 percent then for mountainous terrain is usually from 25 to 60 percent right so um this is basically telling us that this terrain is flat now because of that it's also very important that you know um let's come to our federal ministry of works um manual highway manual 
So uh, if we go to our Federal Ministry of Works Highway Manual, uh, where do I have this place? So if you look at this now, we have for flat steering, you can see for the design speed, it's recommended that it should be around 80 to um, 100 km per hour. Now, um, there are so many other things that are being considered. You know, we have different classes of um, we have different uh, class of uh, road. We have class A, class B, class C, class D. Now, I always recommend that you get this highway manual for Federal Ministry of Works um, highway manual. It's very, very important that you have it um, as a civil engineer who is very, very much interested in road. Right? So, um, this class, you can see this is class D, which is for minor road. Uh, we have the minimum design speed of 40 we have the class a class c this is basically class c so you get to know and get to understand um, what particular class does your road falls in um but for those that are very very uh conversant or familiar with this road this is a very very popular road in kaduna we call it constitution road so this road, this is the roundabout from the um, stadium, which is called the stadium roundabout. And then this is um, the roundabout around the police college. We have our police college around here. This one takes you to Kabala. This road here takes you to Gamji in Kaduna, right? Um, so that is that. So if that is correct, now um we have been able to know um what class of topography this particular road is going to fall on so we know that um based on the percentage we have here is just within the flat terrain so definitely this road is a flat terrain right and then we can adopt let's say 80 km per hour because this is not a major federal highway right so um on this road 80 km per hour is actually very very good um i will suggest now if you look at this i i believe this is a stream um i know this location but i can't remember the name uh, of this particular point there is one feeding station around this particular place um so there is a water that crosses you can see i think is a stream that goes across this so we have a very low level here now one of the most common questions i get is how do you know that um, you should have a bridge or you should have a culvert at a particular location now this is another way now it is always very very important that as an engineer you visit the site to see for yourself have a a physical inspection go there for physical inspection to see how the nature of that particular terrain is in order for you that will help you to know how to come about your design it's very very important and in recognizance um this this is also a very very important feature that you must take note of you must take note of existing drainage if there be any existing drainage there um, before you propose that road um, because that will also help you to know how to connect whatever drainage you are proposing to the existing drainage that is also very important if there be any road um, maybe like an existing road that is close to this your site Let's say, for example, this road has not been constructed, but this one is constructed. This one is already existing, for example. Now, it's important that you also take some points along this because in order for you to know how to link the edge of asphalt of this, we call edge of asphalt, from this road, how do you link it with this? They are supposed to fall at the same level. That is also very, very important information. Uh, you take note of if there be any fence um, you take points along where you have trees you take those points these are very very key important features 
that you must take note of if there be existing um, hydraulic structures like culverts, existing bridge. Um, these are also very key important um, features that you must actually um, take note of. So I have spoken uh, extensively about this. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to insert, um, generate your points um, from the Google Earth itself. So um, it's very, very easy. I will take you through that process um, even as we progress. But before I forget, um, my name is Abel Gray Kantoma. Um, I'm from Greatest Design Consult. Um, I have covered a very wide range of designs from structures to, to road to mechanical electrical service drones to architecture, all available on our YouTube channel. Make sure you stay safe and then you stay blessed.